video and today I'm going to be doing an empties video so I've got two bags here this bag has got Lush on the front and this is full of Lush items that I've been using up and this bag is a body shop bag and in here I've got a mixture of body shop items I've used up and um, some beauty pie and then a couple of random bits as well that I um, thought I'd feature in here and what I thought I would do um, I don't know about you but sometimes I just like watching a certain brand so I'm going to go through the Lush items first then I will do the body shop, then beauty pie, and then some bits at the end. If you're not interested in certain items, then you can skip to the right section of the video. So I will start with Lush first, and then what I'll do is I'll let you know what I thought of them, whether I would buy them again. That's the main purpose of these videos. I have been using a lot of naked products lately, so the items in here are just things that have come in tubs or bottles um, and that sort of thing, or wrappers. But yeah, I've been using lots of naked products, so they're not going to feature in this video. Okay, so starting with Lush first, I've got a bottle of the Snow Fairy body spray, um, and I absolutely love this. I got this, um, not Christmas has gone, but the year before, and um, I've been using this. And I didn't save my last bottle because I traded it in, but since then I've used another one. And this smells like candy floss and bubble gum, that sort of scent. It's quite sweet, but it does last ages actually. So I've used up a full 200ml bottle. Plus I've got a little 100ml bottle in a gift set, so I've used this one up as well. I'm currently on another big bottle, so yeah, absolutely love this fragrance. And then the next item is a pot of ocean salt and this is a lovely body scrub. I don't use it on my face, I find it a bit too harsh on my face but I love it on my body, it's really refreshing and inside it's like a, a creamy colour but it has a hint of blue and green as well. I've got too many body scrubs at the moment so I'm trying to use one at a time before I start a new one but yeah I would definitely buy this again and if you haven't tried it I highly recommend it. And then this is another um, lovely body scrub. I got this and it smells really minty, refreshing, and it's brilliant in the hotter months because it leaves like a, it's got menthol and it, it leaves a really cooling sensation on your skin. So if you get really hot and bothered in the summer months, definitely give this a go. And it's a really cool color as well. It's a really bright purple color. So I really like this one. When I smelt it in the Lush shop, I thought, yeah, I've got to give that a go. But yeah, I would highly recommend this scrub, especially for the hotter months. I'm also using up a few candles at the moment. So I did try this Snow Fairy candle a few months ago and this one had no scent. So I was really disappointed. I did do a demo of this and I, it just had no scent at all, all the way through. Then I decided to give it another chance because I got this one in the Boxing Day sale for £6. And this one was actually better, so it might have been a different batch or it might have been fresher. But this one did have some scent to it, so I take it back on the other one. I can see there's lots of mixed reviews on these. Some people say they smell of nothing, some people say they smell lovely. This one, I must admit, did smell of something. It wasn't very strong. And also my friend tried one as well and she said that her one did have scent to it. I personally find it smells stronger when it's just sitting in the room, not even lit, than when it's lit. But I have to say, this one was much better. The other thing I wanted to point out as well is that I'm using one at the moment that was tunnelling. And you can scrape it away from the edge really easily. So I just use a spoon. And as you can see, I've got every little bit out of here. If you end up with any dregs left over in the bottom of your little jar, then you can pop it in your wax burner and then still use it. So I've used up every bit from these two candles. So here's another one that I tried and this was from the Halloween range so it's Lord of Misrule and this is a patchouli, vanilla and black pepper scent so it's a bit more spicy. I, don't, I do quite like the Lord of Misrule shower gel, the perfume is too strong for me but the candle it did have some scent to it as well so once again I was quite surprised it did. This one I've actually left to show you that it did tunnel. But at the end of this video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to scrape it away from the sides with a spoon because it is very soft actually. And then I'm going to use the remnants in my wax burner. So definitely do that if you find that your, your candle is tunnelling. 
And I would recommend this one actually because it, it does smell. I can even smell it now actually. So yes, yeah, much stronger than the Snow Fairy scent. The next item is the Don't Look At Me Fresh Face Mask. And this one I managed to get for free. Don't forget if you say five pots, then you will get a free fresh face mask. So it's definitely worth saving your pots to take into store. Or if you don't want a fresh face mask, you'll get 50p per pot off other items that you want to buy. Now this one, I did have a pleasant surprise. I wasn't 100% sold on the fragrance to start with. I have done the review on this as well. But the feeling it left on my face afterwards was lovely because my skin felt really soft and plumped up. So I would definitely get this one again. It has like a lemon herby sort of scent. But yeah, I was impressed with how my skin felt afterwards. And with these ones, you need to keep them in the fridge and then you need to use them within a certain date as well. And then another face mask that I got, so I got this for Halloween, and this was the Mr. Pumpkin face. And once again, the scent of this, I do prefer this actually to the Don't Look At Me. I just found it a little bit sweet, sickly when it was under my nose. So afterwards, I just didn't put it under my nose anymore. And I have to say that the, the feeling on my skin after using this was lovely once again. So this was a lovely face mask. It left my skin so moisturised and plump feeling. I would definitely buy this again if it was in the main line range. So yeah, I really liked this. It's like a spicy pumpkin scent, but yeah, I really liked this. The next item is a Lord of Mistral shower gel. This is a little bottle and my boyfriend and I both finished this one up really like this shower gel and i love the green color it is as well and then this was a bottle of happy hippie as you can see the label is a bit damaged from being in the shower this is a refreshing grapefruit zingy scent and we both really like this shower gel particularly for the warmer months again because it's very refreshing so i would definitely buy this again as well the next item is a tub of snow fairy body conditioner and I really like this. I was very impressed by this as well. So this is the product that you, you have your shower as normal. You then step out of the water. You pop this over your skin like you would a moisturizer and then pop back in the shower, just rinse off. And then it leaves your skin feeling like you've got body butter on and it has a lovely scent as well. So yeah, I've, I've definitely got some more of this ready to go in the bathroom. So yeah, recommend this too. And then the next item I've used up is a big tub of the Power Conditioner. This smells like turmeric latte or like a butterscotchy sort of scent. I really like this conditioner. I, it really, really suits my hair. It makes it bounce and feel really light. So I've been using this and I do have another tub on the go at the moment. So I would recommend this. Obviously with hair products, all our hair is different. So what suits one person won't suit another, but I would definitely personally buy this again. The next item that I've used up is a bottle of the Temptation shower gel. And this came out for Valentine's Day last year. It was not my favorite, I must admit. It's described as a fresh red apple scent, but I just found it had too much of a floral note in there. Um, but I did use it up, it was fine in the shower. The scent didn't really linger on my skin, so it didn't come out this year. Um, I know it was really popular, so I was quite surprised, but yeah, so that's been used up. The next item is a pot of the Pink Peppermint Foot Lotion, and this has a lovely scent. I used all this up in the summer, and it smells like a spearminty, light minty scent. It's, it's like a lovely pink color, a bit like Snow Fairy. But I loved using this, so I would definitely get this again. And if I got it in a gift set, I would happily use it as well. So yeah, I really like this product. The next little tub is a little pot of the Dream Cream Body Lotion. This is a lovely body lotion that sinks into your skin really easily. So I use this on my legs. It does have lavender in, so I didn't have it too near my face because it does irritate me. But it's not a full-on lavender scent. So I would recommend this if you like chamomile, lavender, and you want something that's quite soothing and sinks in quickly. So I would definitely use this again. Next item is a bottle of the American Cream Hair Conditioner and yep, yeah, I like this as well. 
And this is described as like a strawberries and cream scent. I personally don't get that scent. It smells a bit more perfumey to me, but I do like it. And once again, it really makes my hair feel light and bouncy. And it's also really good at conditioning my hair. I would say out of the two, the power is my favorite, but this is a close second favorite for me. These two little um, things came with the ectoplasm slime kit which I used and so I've still got to use that up actually and I thought I would save these because I'm doing some fun videos at the moment for my friend who I've introduced to Lush so I'm going to save these as little sample bottles because I'm giving her some samples as well with her surprise goodie box so I'm going to save these. And for those of you that don't know, these little sample pots, keep these as well, don't throw them away. These are also worth five pence at Lush, so you will get money off your shopping, so save these little ones too. So that's all my Lush items, so body shop next. So I haven't used up as many body shop items as I would normally because I've been using so many Lush things. But I've used a bottle of this coconut perfume and it is one of my favourite perfumes ever doesn't irritate me and the coconut line at the body shop is my favourite so you will see in a minute um, how many things I've used up but yeah I love this perfume and I do have another one on the go at the moment. I also have finished a bottle of the coconut shower cream this came in a gift set and yeah I've, I hadn't used it for ages and I remembered how uh, lovely and moisturising it was so yeah I finished this little one off. And then that gift set also came with a tub of the body scrub, which I've also finished. And it was just a little tub. Can you see a theme here? <laughs> Everything's coconut scented. Um, but I also finished off a coconut bath bubble. Never tried these before. I have done a demo on these. And I was actually quite impressed with this coconut one. It was much better than I thought it was going to be. So I would definitely get this one again. And then I also tried the pink grapefruit one. I personally prefer the coconut one, but then I'm just a coconut fan. I found the scent of this one a bit weaker in the water, I think so. But yeah, I'm just coconut through and through. And then I have used quite a few of these coconut hand creams. It is my absolute favourite. I get through hand cream like anything, so I'll show you how many I've used up. So there you go, I've used up 10 tubes, so I absolutely love it. I do wish they would make this fragrance in a bigger tube, just to save me a bit of money. But I, what I tend to do is I tend to find these on selling sites for less, or otherwise I get them when they're on offer. So I absolutely love this hand cream. I have one in the car, I have one by my bedside table. I'm always putting it on because I do end up with quite dry hands. And this hand cream sinks in so quickly as well. I don't like gloopy hand creams where you have to wait ages for something to sink in. So yeah, this is my absolute favorite, as you can tell. And then the next item um, is from Beauty Pie. And this is the Bayer de Miel um, diffuser. I love the scent of this, so I have this in my lounge and I have one downstairs as well. And then what you can do is you can buy these refills. So I got this, I think it was on eBay for less than they sell it at Beauty Pie. And then it comes in a glass bottle and you can either keep the, the reeds in the glass bottle or if you've got the proper vessel like this, I also found this on eBay. It's actually quite difficult to describe this scent, but it, to me it smells very Mediterranean and I love it, especially in the summer months. It says it's got a crush of green basil and licorice milk mixed into balsam fir, guaiac wood, honey and seductive vanilla musk and it just makes a lovely scent. Some people say it's quite a masculine scent. My boyfriend really likes this as well. So yes, we have this throughout our flat and I always buy the refill bottles. I also have a candle which I've tried and the candle was very strong actually. I only had to um, burn it for like an hour and it filled up the room. So yes, I would definitely buy this again. The next item is from Boots and this is Zingy Coconut and Almond Hand Wash. I think it's called at the, it's part of the everyday line now, but I absolutely love this hand wash. My hands are really, really sensitive. There's so many soaps that I can't use, even pump dispensers like this, because um, they dry out my hands. I have found a couple of lush soaps, naked soaps I can use, but not very many. 
but this one for me is is brilliant I've, I've been using this for about two years now three years perhaps even and I love the scent as well obviously it's got coconut in and almonds and it's really creamy and also it's very cheap I think I got these for 75p and this is 250 mils I've just checked online and they've gone up to 85p so it's still really reasonable I wish they did a big refill bottle because then I could just fill up this bottle from the big one um, and save the environment on another pump like this but yeah I would highly recommend this and also they do other scents as well like lime mango I think they've got raspberry but yeah this one is my favorite so I do have another one of these on the go as we speak the next item I used up is a vanilla pod reed diffuser and I love vanilla scents generally. This was only £4 and I have to say I wouldn't buy it again, it's from Home Store. It just didn't have any scent to it really so yeah that was a waste of money in my opinion. I wouldn't buy one of these again. Now the last item I thought I would feature is this and it's the Salt of the Earth Melon and Cucumber Natural Deodorant. And it smells lovely. I love the scent. It's perfect for summer. And I was looking for something that um, would be better for the environment. So it wasn't like a, a spray. Um, but I have to say, I do like the scent of this. But the only negative with this is that when you spray it on you, because it's so runny, it just runs down your body. So I do feel I might try um, a naked product that is in a stick form instead. I do find those better. But let me know if you've tried this melon and cucumber. I absolutely love the scent of this and I have used it all up now. So looking at alternatives instead. But yes, that was my empties video. I'm currently using up more candles as well. So let me know if you tried any of these products and if there's anything in here that you like or dislike as well. So most of it I would buy again, but there are a few things I wouldn't. But thank you very much for watching and I'll hopefully catch you on another video.